Ülkemizin büyük elçiliği önünde böyle bir kepazeliğin yaşanmasına sebebiyet verenlerin NATO'ya üyelik başvuruları konusunda artık bizden herhangi bir hayır haklık bekleyemeyecekleri açık. The Muslim world is very very angry and they have taken to the street to make sure their voices are being heard. To make sure everyone knows that they have been greatly offended. Watch this video and when we come back, I will give you my honest take on this whole situation. Watch. <laughs> هذه إساءة إلى مشاعر جميع المسلمين ولا نرضى بتكرارها مرة أخرى ونطالب حتى الاتحاد الأوروبي يفترض به إصدار بيان لشجب هكذا إساءات للديانات الأخرى Ülkemizin büyük elçiliği önünde Böyle bir kepazeliğin yaşanmasına sebebiyet verenlerin NATO'ya üyelik başvuruları konusunda artık bizden herhangi bir hayır haklık bekleyemeyecekleri açıktır. Dolayısıyla İsveç'teki çirkin eylem en başta Müslümanlar olmak üzere insanların temel hak ve özgürlüklerine saygı duyan herkese yapılmış bir hakaret. Eğer hak ve özgürlüklere bu kadar saygılıysanız önce... Türkiye Cumhuriyeti'nin veyahut Müslümanların dini inancına saygı göstereceksiniz. Eğer bu saygıyı göstermiyorsanız kusura bakmayın. Bizden de NATO konusunda herhangi bir destek göremeyeceğiz. When I saw this protest, right, I thought to myself, what have they done or how often have they taken to the street when the minority, the Muslim minority in, Xinj in Xinjiang, in China, are being persecuted by the Chinese authorities. How often have they taken into the street to protest when the Palestinians are forced to undergo so many checkups by the Israelis? Have they taken to the street like they are doing now? Or when the president of Turkey turned a Christian church into a mosque, what did they do? <laughs> what did they do? So all this question I'm, I'm asking is just to have a clarity on many things. I think that the Muslims always pick and choose which event to protest about and which to give a blind eye to. That's what I believe. And let me be clear. I believe in the respect of other people's religion. I believe that we will all be happy if we respect each other. I believe that we must show respect for people's belief. We cannot go around degrading people's belief. So the action of this person is totally wrong. I wouldn't do it and I wouldn't support others to do it because I believe the Muslims have the Holy Quran in high regards. But my point is, why are they not standing up for the Muslim minorities in China, the people of Xinjiang? Why are they not standing up for them? Or why are they not standing up for the Palestinians when they are being maltreated by the Israelis? Why are they not standing up? That is my problem. That is my point. And secondly, leaders mix religion and politics because they know that the people won't be able to differentiate which one to stand for and which one to stand against. That is why you can see the president of Turkey saying that he will not support Sweden bait to become a NATO member. That is a political move. That is not a religious move. 
And I think calling for the government of Sweden to punish the person that bent the Quran is an overreach. Because you must understand that these countries, they have different rules and different principles, right? If the said mentioned individual broke a law in Sweden, he would be punished for that. But I do not believe burning a Quran is breaking any of Swedish laws. So he won't be punished for that. So you cannot expect, <laughs> you cannot ask them to punish him because he hasn't broken any law. The Muslim can protest for whatever they think offends them. They have the right to do so. But I think they should also protest for the many other things that are being done to a huge majority of the Muslims around the world. People should come out to protest when the lives of other people are in danger. Now, I'm not saying the Quran is not important. I'm not saying that they shouldn't protest for the burning of the Quran. I'm just saying that there are other things that they could protest about. There are other things that are important to us, to humans, that they could be protesting about. There are other things that they should show their support for. They shouldn't only come out when someone says something they do not like about Muhammad or when someone burned the Holy Quran or when someone says something against Islam. And just so we are clear, right? Just so we are clear. <laughs> I personally have respect for people's beliefs. I do. But others may not. Some people may not care about what you believe. And as we live in a democratic society, we should expect people who do not care about what others believe in. We must learn to accept that simple fact and learn to move on. Some people might not care about Christianity. Some people might not care about Islam. Some people might not care about Buddhism. Some people might decide to burn the Holy Bible. All these things are very important to some people but less important to other people. And we all must learn to accept that. And to you, my brothers and sisters out there, do you think that the Muslims have the right to protest and call the Swedish authority to punish the man who burnt the Holy Quran in front of the Turkish embassy in Sweden? And do you think that the president of Turkey should use this as an opportunity to build his own career and support? Let us know in the comment section below because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And please, if you came across any video or any article, please kindly send it away to any of our social media platform. You can find them on this channel description section. You can also support the show with a dollar or more through the crowdfunding website, Petro. Find all related links on how to support and donate to the show on this channel description section. Kindly like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to this YouTube channel because little deeds of good we, like the one you just did, helps the channel a lot, and we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much, and like always, see you in the next one.